Welcome to another video, we're gonna see how we can add 3D models generated by an AI platform to Katia V5 and have it set as editable. So for the case study I'm gonna make use of the Common Sense Machine AI platform. This is free to use so you can use it uh, as well. And this is image to 3D model. So the input is an image, the output will be a 3D model. For the case study I generated various chairs. This is also a video on my channel, I will put a link over here at the top if you want to see how I generated all these uh, chairs that are inspired by Panton chair. And this is the case study, as you can see the image, and if I will move my mouse over, we're going to see the 3D model. Now, within an update of the platform, you are able to download the model directly as an OBJ. So if I will go over here, download mesh, we're going to see the refined OBJ file format. Previous, they only had GLB file format, so we required Blender in order to have the GLB file open and converted into an OBJ that will also be compatible with Katia V5. So to get started, I downloaded that model. As we can see at the top, we have that session with the model. I'm gonna have that model unpacked and within the unpacked, the model will look like this. So we see the albedo texture. This is something that Katia is not able to see, while other software like Fusion, they are able to see. So mainly Katia V5. Newer versions from uh, the Sal system like 3D experience can uh, also visualize the texture. So this is the model. There is also an MTL file. If I'm going to have this open with Notepad, we're going to see that an MTL file will link the PNG file in this case to the OBJ. So to get started with Katia, if you want to add OBJs as editable, we're going to need to make use of Imagine and Shape Workbench. This is the only workbench capable of importing those subdivisions. And we're going to have at the top import subdivision. And afterwards, I will just drag and drop that model. So I will go over here. So I will copy the file that I just downloaded. I will edit over here as a file name using paste. And I will have that open. And now we're going to see that Katia will open that file. The main problem is that by default, even though the mesh is not very high poly, Katia will struggle to have it loaded, but it will finally process that. And we're going to see how we can also have the mesh optimized using Blender within the previous part, let's, let's say the, the following up of this video. Now, the model is really small after having it loaded, but now if I will zoom in and zoom out, we're going to see that this will be the mesh. Katia again is struggling to have this OBJ added over here, so I will go over here and I will press OK within the tool palette in order to have the model fully loaded. And afterwards we're going to see how we can improve the performance of this model in order to have it reshaped as desired within the Imagine and Shape workbench. So Katia again is struggling with a not responding message, but it will finally be able to have this processed. It just takes a couple of minutes. I decided that I won't skip this part ahead in order to show, show you how poorly, let's say, optimized Katia V5 is for aspects regarding OBJ uh, file model import as editable. So I will leave that to load. Meanwhile, I'll, I also have over here a Blender session, so I will go within um, a new file. And I will have that model as well imported over here. So file, import, we're going to have an OBJ in this case within downloads. I'm going to go with date modified and I know that the model of the chair is this session. So even though the model has been downloaded um, at 9.15, it's the same model that I initially did uh, a testing. So every time I do a video for YouTube, 
I also do a testing regarding uh, that. So as we can see, Blender had no problems loading that model. I'm gonna delete the default cube within Blender and we're gonna see that this will be the model of the chair. If I will go within a wireframe, we're gonna see that the mesh is quite, uh, let's say, dense. If you wanna see also the statistics, we have the possibility to check that over here. So we see a total number of triangles, 48,000 triangles. And also Blender has the possibility to visualize the model with texture, as we can see over here. If I'm gonna go with shaded with material, this will be the texture of the AI generated chair. Meanwhile, Katia also managed to have this loaded, as we can see. Now, it's really difficult to have this edited because the software will um, lag, so the model needs to be optimized. We can do that within uh, digital mockup. We have the possibility to use Demo Optimize, Optimizer, but I highly recommend that you use Blender for this part. So let me just select this subdivision and press spacebar to go within edit mode. As we can see, we now have the possibility to do some selections and uh, some manipulation. But since the mesh is so dense, it will be really difficult to work with this. For example, I want some translation. I will select all the points over here. And afterwards, using the translation, I will have those slightly moved to the top. And we see that the software uh, again struggles. I already moved the mouse over here at the top. It's currently trying to process all those vertices movement. So this is why Katia is a really powerful software because it integrates also computer the design and also aspects regarding digital content creation. So both words also polygonal meshing and NURBS meshes, 3D models. So that, that's really, really something, let's say, uh, impressive for a software that it handles both. But the main drawback is that, as we can see, it's struggling with this model to do that translation of the vertices. While on the other hand, within Blender, if I would like to do the same um, thing, I would select the model, press tab to go within edit mode, I have the rectangle selection, I can select a similar area, afterwards I would press G, so that means grab, afterwards I can press Z for the axis and I can move those. And as you can see, we won't have any problems moving those. Now, since I didn't add X-ray view, I didn't select the back elements over here, so I will select over here toggle X-ray. Now I will do that rectangle selection. And now if I will rotate, I'm going to see that now I selected all the vertices over there. So if I will press G, afterwards I can have those grabbed and moved. And as you can see, Blender does that almost instantly, so without any problems while processing. This is the main, uh, let's say, advantage of Blender. The other, let's say, disadvantage is that we can't work with specific values, we can add, uh, let's say, and have control over the thickness of the surface and stuff like that, like we do within a computer aided software design. So Blender is mainly used for visualization, while Katia can also be used for manufacturing, and that's really the main um, objective of a 3D model created within a CAD software. Now. I will um, start a new session over here in Katia because I see that this session will still struggle to have those moved. So I'm going to start a new session and we're going to see how we can have this model simplified in order to have it moved to Katia as a working 3D model. So the model generated by the platform is too high polygonal for, um, for this. So as you can see, it's still over there struggling. So Within Blender, I will select the mesh of the chair. I will go over here where we have modifier, uh, so it's called modifier properties, and I'm gonna add a decimate. So decimate will reduce the number of vertices. I will also go within wireframe, and 
we see the ratio is set to 1. This is the initial ratio. I will go with a ratio of 0 0.1. I will also press enter and we're going to see that the mesh will now look like this. If I'm going to move my mouse over here, I have the possibility to see this shaded as flat or shade shaded smooth and we won't have those um, let's say triangles visible within the viewport. Katia will also have this uh, shaded to smooth added with the imaginary shape. Now with the new models we see that the total number of faces is only um, as we see below 5000 for the faces so 10% from what we originally had just like the ratio so the ratio is 0 0.1 and this will be 10% equivalent of that. Now I will select the model. We can even go, let's say, even lower, like 5%, 0.05. You're going to see the model will look like this. The texture will have some black areas where the decimate uh, algorithm added some, uh, some of those within the texture. But now we're going to have only half of those faces, so only 2410 faces as we can see and this will be something that Katia can work with therefore I will select the mesh go to file export again Katia requires OBJ for imagine and shape workbench so have that selected I will go on the desktop and I will call this chair one and I will do the selection limit selection only that means that only this mesh will be saved within this file so have that exported so finally this session of Katia managed to have those moved so I'm just gonna press space in order to cancel this I'm not gonna use of the second instance of Katia anymore since this managed to recover as we can see those have been raised up over here now I will select the model and I will have this deactivated in order to not, uh, let's say, uh, eat the performance of the software. So I have that deactivated and I will have the model re-imported, but now I will choose the one that we just saved, which, uh, let's see, what was that name? Let me save it again. Maybe I didn't go within uh, desktop. So for the desktop, I call this chair one we see this was created uh, one minute ago. So that will be the model, chair one, have that selected. Now, the new model was mm, rapidly loaded, as we can see. And um, if I will press the check mark in order to have this model added, this has been already loaded. And now within the tool palette, I still, uh, let's say, feel that the software is a little bit laggy, even with this 2000 faces model, so we can go even lower. But I can select those and I can have those translated on Z-axis and Katia will respond, let's say, quite well and uh, decent. So not very fluid, not uh, real time, but I can easily have that adjusted. So I can select everything. Maybe I want to have this all scaled. I can select the scaling and on the Y axis. So again, everything. Since it's a little bit laggy, I need to pay attention and select that axis, wait a little bit and only afterwards have it scaled. As we can see, the software will be able to do that scaling for us. So I scale this uh, at half. We see over here 0.5. Afterwards, press space and we have the new shape of that chair. So within Blender, we can even go lower. If you want something for imagining shape, I highly recommend that you will go even lower than this. So I'll go with 0 0.2. This thing only leaves us uh, with 900 faces. As you can see, since the shaded to smooth was enabled over here, I can go and decimate this even more, so 0 0.005. This will only leave 240 triangles. And as you can see over here, the model will be triangular, so quite, um, quite pointy and with those elements. I can go shaded to smooth in order to visualize it. And again, I will go file export and have this saved as I will call this chair 2. 
say selection so this will only have 240 triangles I will leave the previous model loaded as well and I will add the second chair so chair 2 that we just saved and as we can see we can work with this quite well so I'm gonna select that I'm gonna change the color of the newly added chair to red and if I want to work with this since we have so few triangles the software will also work pretty good in real time as we can see so I can have that adjusted over there afterwards I can select maybe those two top surfaces and have this as well move that the top and that will be the form so as we can see one of the main drawbacks is that we don't have the texture so if within blender we had that um, that uv texture added which is over here for the chair the the rm model this will not be visible within katia in other software like fusion 360 they just added the support for uh, for obj's but over here if you want to access some materials we can make use of the library for example ds red and i will position this we see that the model will be loaded the texture for the model i will have deactivated second mesh this is still visible as red but this is because we still are within shaded with edges if i will go with shading with materials now that ds material will uh, appear on our let's say chair concept created by um, the ai platform which was modified within katia imagine and shape okay so i highly encourage that um, you will also try some uh, 3d models on csm platform as we can see over here i have various um, car 3d models also some uh, yoda figurines and uh, and others so if you like this content i will also uh, position a similar video over here to the left and a subscribe button to the right so please consider to subscribe if you enjoy this content thanks for watching